President Donald Trump went scorched earth on Friday morning and threatened to close the United States' southern border entirely and cut aid to foreign nations if the border wall is not funded. In a furious tweet storm, the president vented his frustrations with Democrats refusing allocate funding for the border wall. We will be forced to close the southern border entirely if the obstructionist Democrats do not give us the money to finish the wall and also change the ridiculous immigration laws that our country is saddled with, he tweeted Friday morning. Hard to believe there was a Congress and president who would approve. Trump renewed his demands for the wall on Friday and also threatened numerous consequences in the absence of that money. He even suggested pulling back on the recently renegotiated North American Free Trade Agreement. The United States loses so much money on trade with Mexico under NAFTA, over $75 billion a year, not including drug money which would be many times that amount, that I would consider closing the southern border a profit-making operation, he tweeted. Bring our car industry back into the United States where it belongs. Go back to pre-NAFTA, before so many of our companies and jobs were so foolishly sent to Mexico, he added. Either we build, finish, the wall or we close the border. He then tweeted that the U.S. would terminate foreign aid with Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador, which he said are doing nothing for the United States but taking our money. He also noted that reports suggest another migrant caravan is leaving Honduras in January and will be headed toward the U.S. Word is that a new caravan is forming in Honduras and they are doing nothing about it. We will be cutting off all aid to these three countries, taking advantage of U.S. for years, he said. With Friday marking the seventh day of the federal government shutdown, Trump and Democrats are locked over the issue of border security. Last Thursday, House Republicans voted 217 to 185 to approve a measure that would keep the government open and allocate $5.7 billion for border wall funding. The bill is now waiting a full vote in the Senate, where lawmakers are hashing it out over funding for border security. Trump originally wanted $5 billion for border wall funding and Democrats only offered $1.6 billion, which they claimed was a very generous offer. Earlier this week, Trump delivered a brutal Christmas message to House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer over the partial government shutdown. While speaking with reporters on Tuesday in the Oval Office, Trump stood firm on his demand for funding for the border wall between the United States and Mexico. He said the government shutdown would continue until the wall is funded. I can't tell you it's not going to be open until we have a wall, a fence, whatever they would like to call it. I'll call it whatever they want, he said. The president rounded out his comments by calling it a disgrace that Democrats are refusing to work with Republicans to fund the wall to keep the nation safe. It's a disgrace what's happening in our country. But other than that, I wish everybody a very Merry Christmas, he concluded.